Hey there, and welcome to Flash Pricer. My name is Gabriel, and in this video, I'll be walking you through the necessary steps to set up your Flash Pricer account. The very first step that needs to happen is to connect your sales channel. Over here at the top right, you can click Connect Channel and choose the sales channel you want connected to your Flash Pricer account. If you have any questions about this step or need some step-by-step -step guidance, you can always visit our help center or you can contact us at success at flashpricer.com. We can jump on and run through it together. Once your sales channel is connected, the next step is to create a strategy. You can reach the strategies page by clicking this icon over here. And once you make it to the strategies page, all you need to do is at the top right, click new strategy, name your strategy, and then choose a sales channel you want your strategy associated with. When you are finished customizing your strategy, you can click create strategy and the strategy will be created on the page. One thing to note is under the actions column, you have the option to edit, duplicate, assign as default for a specific channel or delete that strategy. Again, if you have any questions about customizing your strategy to your liking, we are happy to jump on a demo call or walk you through it via email step-by-step. -step. Next, let's head over to the products page. All you need to do to get to the products page is click the products button over here. Now let's start at the top left. You have your search icon. You can search anything from the SKU, the item ID, to something within the title itself. To the right of that, we have a filter drop down. I would suggest running through these filters on your own time just to see what we have to offer. These are our own built-in filters. To the right of that, you can filter by sales channel and strategy itself. And then to the right of that, you have a button that gives you the option to export to CSV or click the bulk upload listings icon and we'll bring you to the uploads page to bulk upload your listings. Below the top line search and filters, we have two different tabs, publish on channel and unpublished on channel. You can easily navigate and switch between tabs to see which items are published or unpublished. Below that, we have our products table. Starting at the left, we have your listing information such as the SKU, the title of the item and the item ID. To the right of that, you have the strategy and the strategy assigned to that listing. You can always X out the strategy and assign a new one. To the right of that, we have cost min and max, current price, competition, profit, and stock if it's in stock or out of stock. Over here, we also have the created at date. So for example, let's look at this item. You can see that there's a few hovers. So when you hover over cost min and max, we have a breakdown over current price. There's also a hover over competition and over profit itself. When you hover over any of these columns, you will see a breakdown for each one of them. Let's head over to the uploads page now. Okay, the important thing to know about the uploads page is over here, you have this down arrow, you have two options download CSV template or generate CSV from my listings. So you can generate an entire report or you can just generate a template where you can add your specific information that you want to upload to Flash Pricer. Let's choose download CSV template. All right. So within this template, you have the SKU column, sales channel ID, strategy ID, min price, max price, cost, and repricing enabled. So you can decide that you want to enable or disable repricing at the SKU level. You can upload cost information for a specific SKU. You can bulk upload and max prices, assign a strategy through a strategy ID, and then the required fields you need to actually enter the SKU itself and the sales channel ID. Just for reference, the sales channel ID can be found on the sales channel page under the sales channel ID column. That's right over here. So this would be the sales channel ID for this store. And then the strategy ID can be found on the strategies page under the name of the strategy. So this would be the strategy ID for this specific strategy. We have a copy button. You can easily copy the strategy itself. When you're ready to upload the file, you can either drag and drop or click this button and choose the file itself. Let's say we wanted to drag and drop. It'll prompt the different fields of the CSV column. So these are the fields of the CSV and these are the fields within Flash Pricer. So you can easily map any of these to a specific column if you wanted to. I can say, hey, this is the SKU column, this is the sales channel ID, so on and so forth. Once you're finished, you can click yes, mapping column is correct, or make changes to mapping. Next, let's head over to the integrations page. This is where you can integrate your costs from your inventory management software 
or anywhere that your costs are hosted. And you can do that in two ways. You can do that via hosted CSV or CSV via FTP. One last way that you can sync cost information is by publishing a Google Sheet to the web and then using the hosted CSV integration option to sync that up to Flash Pricer. Through this integration, you can also sync Minimax prices and strategies as well. This brings me to my next point. There are a few different ways that you can sync Minimax prices to Flash Pricer. One of them is through this import integration. Another one is through a book upload, as we saw before. You can also assign Minimax prices directly on the products page. And the last way is through a calculation-based strategy within your strategy settings. So within the strategy itself, you can go down to this last section. And as long as you're syncing costs to our software, you can choose any of these calculation-based rules to calculate by ROI, profit margin, and fixed profit, and assign the minimax thresholds that you want. One last thing I want to mention is that in order to activate repricing, three things must happen. The first, repricing must be enabled globally. You can do that on this sales channel page just by toggling this on right over here. The second is that a strategy must be assigned to a listing. For example, this is what it would look like if no strategy is assigned to a listing, and then you can assign it directly over here, or as we mentioned, in a bulk upload or through the integration. And the last thing you need is a minimum price. You can enter a minimum price directly on this page through a bulk upload, or if you're syncing cost information to us and you have a calculation-based repricing strategy set, then you will see that the minimax prices are automatically created through that strategy and they'll show up in gray like this. So once again, a minimum price must be assigned, a strategy must be assigned, global repricing must be enabled. Thank you so much again for watching. Again, if you have any questions, we are happy to jump on a call, walk you through step-by-step -step each part of the software and answer any questions that you have. You can always email us at success at flashpricer.com. Thank you.